my own hometown. Stranger. Yeah. Howdy, folks. It's uh, John from Little John's Brewing. Today we're uh, setting up an experiment based around yeast pitching and how much yeast uh, is most beneficial to a batch of home brew. Uh, this comes about from uh, having many discussions with a lot of people and uh, a lot of different opinions and ideas around the subject. Uh, my personal belief is I like to use two packets of dry yeast on a standard batch of beer. By standard batch I'm talking you know, 23 litres, uh, you know, 10.44, somewhere around there, that sort of range. But I honestly believe myself that any uh, normal batch over about 10.40 should have two packs of yeast pitch on it. That's, you know, 10, 11 gram packs, so about 20, 22 grams of yeast. What I've got today, I've got a couple of packs of US05, courtesy of my local uh, country brewer, thank you Gary. Um, and I've also got a all-in brewing gold nail fresh wort kit um, just for the sake of doing the experiment. Oh, I was going to muck around with five hours of brewing just, for this, just to do this. I've got plenty of beer on tapping bottles at the moment so this is really purely experimental. I might get a few bottles of nice gold nail out of, that, out of it myself, I hope. Uh, I've not used this kit before, this is only my second fresh wort kit I've done. So, it's just a simple base to use, I can just pour it in and get it done. So what I'm going to be doing, I've got my two 15 litre fermenters here. I'm going to split the batch between the two, so there'll be 10 litres in each batch, which effectively gives me half batches. So what I'm going to do, one batch will get one packet. So essentially it'll be the same as using two patches, two patches, two packs in a full batch. Alright, and then the other, other batch is going to get a half pack, five grams of yeast, which is basically same as doing a single pack of yeast into a full batch. Um, it runs pretty close to the one gram per litre of wort, which I've seen a few people throw around as a recommended level, and it's certainly in the same sort of ballpark as what I sort of support with the two, with, the, with those two packs. Not going to get into who yeast cell numbers and growth and all the rest of it today. It's simply working on one pack, two packs, simple, nice and easy and what works the best. So I'm going to split put the uh, wood kit between the two drums and then I'll top them up. Okay, so that's the, uh, the wood kit in. Showing me a little over seven litres in both fermenters. Uh, I think this wok kit's meant to be 15 litres. Though, eh, it doesn't actually say what it is, so it's all good. Now, I'm going to get in here and give these a good mix. Now, they swapped in pretty hard, so they're aerated. We'll get a bit more in there. Now again, for their ration is a important factor in your yeast health. But it's not what we're testing today, so... One of the things I really want to, I'm really focusing on here is the fact that, you know, we're talking about new brewers and the methods they're employing. Yeah, and about getting, yeah, guys haven't been brewing a long time, been able to get out and pump out decent brews without going to too much, too much extra effort. Yeah, I could pull the aquarium pump out and pump these full of oxygen or air, but yeah, realistically, most of these new guys, this is really all they're going to do. They're going to dump, give it a bit of a stir, and then they're going to pitch their yeast onto it. So. We'll follow that same sort of method and see what we come up with. Okay, so I've given them a decent mix up, a good splash. Splashed a bit on myself, a bit all over the place. So I'm top up now. 
to 10 litres with some uh, just some cooled water. Splash it in a bit, just get a bit more oxygen in there. Uh, now I was going to go to not 10 litres, I'm thinking I might just go to 9 just so we're not cutting the uh, cutting the back too far. That's just this nine there. Now yeah, I'm not going to dry hop these brews. Uh, I know it's a fairly common practice with the uh, fresh wok hits, but this one's actually got a little bit of late hopping in it. Has got that's Columbus for bittering, and we've got some Centennial on a 10 minute boil it says uh, for a couple of IBU and also a flame out so there should be some hot character and flavour in here without going any further there's 30 IBU all up I normally push me up gold nails anywhere from 28 to 32 so they're in that sort of range I'm not too worried about going any further with it I'm not going to dry hop we'll just let it go as it is and see how it comes out. Get this in more of the mix. Got a good way to in here. I think we've got some good air in there. And again, as I said, I would prefer to run the pump in there for a couple of minutes to get a lot more air in there. But as we're trying to cover what the filler is going to be doing, so I just take a quick hydro sample on this to see where we're starting. Looks quite dark. And we're sitting, sitting around 1044, 1046, so that's nice. That'll get us into the low fives, so I'm quite happy with that. A bit extra strength on the gold nail. Um, not a brew I consider to be a, yeah, something you're going to sit down and smash out plenty of. Not like a pale ale or a lager or a summer ale. Um, and I'll probably let this run me into winter a little bit. Now, I'm only going in dry with the yeast. I'm not mucking around with rehydrating. And again, this is not my recommended method for adding the yeast. I would much prefer to see it hydrated and get it ready and going. But, again, most of those new guys at home are just throwing the yeast straight in. So let's stick with that. So they're in. We'll give that a little bit of a stir and get that yeast into the brew. So I can start soaking up that moisture and coming back to life. Now, because everything has been sanitised before we uh, start, things we've got to there, there. Yeah. Anybody, anybody take any notice of which one had what yeast in it? Sanitizer into the uh, 
Get out of there, lockies. There's nothing dangerous there. Yeah. Alright, I'll right, just mark this one. Right, right on the top of the lid there. Half. Nice and easy, something up there. So they're done. So I'm going to just set these on the uh, garage floor and just let these ferment at ambient at the, for the time being. Uh, the garage is sitting at the moment on 19 degrees. Um, the next couple of days we're only going to be sitting on 19 to 21 at best during the day, so I think they'll be quite happy just sitting on the floor. I've still got a brew in the fridge, I really don't want to bottle today. Um, so the, <laughs> the weather worked for me, cooled down. So these will go on, uh, we'll give them a couple of weeks, bottle them up, and we'll come back and we'll try it then and see what difference there is between the full pack of yeast or what would be two packs and the one pack. Uh, until then, good brewing.